Hello again. I'm Jenny from Summerland Church, and I am, as you know, a member of the children's ministry team. And I'm so glad to be back with you again this week. I hope you've had a great week and a good weekend. It got chilly here, and we even had a little bit of rain, which was such a blessing. I hope that everyone is healthy and is following all the rules, keeping your masks on, keeping your distance, and staying safe. And we are about to enter the holiday season, which is my favorite time of the year. So I'm so happy you're with us. And I'm going to read you today the story from the Storybook Bible, written by Sally Lloyd-Jones, the story about the warrior leader. And it again is a story from the Old Testament from the book of Joshua, chapters 3 and chapter 6. So everyone gets snuggly and cozy, grab a blanket or a stuffed animal or somebody you love and snuggle up with them. Here we go. The warrior leader. This is the story of Joshua and the Battle of Jericho. After Moses died, God gave his people a new leader. His name was Joshua, which means the Lord saves. Joshua was going to lead God's people into the special land God had promised to give them. By this time, God's people had been wandering around baking in the desert for 40 years. So you can imagine just how sick they were of sand and tents and walking and being really, really hot. They were even sick of the color yellow. And they were also very happy to reach the edge of the desert and to see their beautiful new home. Right there in front of them, all cool and green and lovely, there was only one problem, Jericho. Jericho was a city, but it wasn't just any old city. It was a fortress and it stopped anyone from getting into the land. The people looked at Jericho, at the big, giant, scary walls around it, at the tall, towering ramparts, at the heavy iron gates bolted shut, and they looked at each other. What would they do? No one knew, but God knew. And God told Joshua what to do. But Joshua must have looked surprised because it was a very, very odd battle plan indeed, as we'll soon find out. Then God made his people a promise. I will always be with you. I will never, ever leave you. If you do what I say, your lives in the new land will be happy lives and everything will go well. So Joshua gathered his army together. They had their swords and their spears and their shields, and they were ready to fight. But the plan wasn't about fighting. It was about trusting and doing what God said. It was about being obedient. Joshua's army went marching, marching, marching around the city day after day after day. Ha, <laughs> they're too scared to fight, the people in Jericho yelled down at them. But they were wrong. God's people weren't scared at all. They were waiting, waiting for God to tell them what to do next. On the seventh day, seven days of marching, round and round and round, God told his people to march around the city, not once, but this time on the seventh day, seven times. 
Then God told everyone to make as much noise as they could. Has anyone ever told you to make as much noise as you possibly could? Well, imagine that noise. Add 39,999 other people making that noise too, and you get the idea. It was ear splitting. And as it turns out, it was stone splitting too, because the huge strong walls of Jericho just crumbled to the ground as if they were just made of sand. Jericho vanished in a great cloud of dust. So it was that God's people entered their new home and they didn't have to fight to get in. They only had to walk and be obedient. Joshua said, God has brought you here safely. Now, will you do what he says? Everyone said, oh, we promise, of course, yes, we will. Joshua said, only God can make your heart happy. So don't pray to pretend gods. Oh, no, they said, no, we never, ever will do that. But again, I'm afraid they didn't keep their promises. They didn't do what God said. And many years later, just as God warned them, things would go very badly for God's people. They would lose their home, enemies would capture them, and take them off as slaves again. And God's people would scatter into many different lands. But God's plan was still working. One day, he would give his people another leader and another home. But this home, no one could ever take from them. I love that story of Joshua. God's ways are so different from ours. And when we're obedient and listen carefully to him, life gets much easier. So this week, let's all make that commitment to try to do the very best we can to be obedient to God, to listen to what he has to say, what our parents have to say, our teachers. And let us just focus on working very hard at having open ears and open hearts. Let's pray together before we have our music, and um, then I will say goodbye to you. Oh, Father God, thank you so much for wonderful leaders who were great examples of how we should live our lives, who were obedient, who were humble, who followed your ways so perfectly. Lord, and I pray that you would help us to have learned from the Israelites that we would work at being more obedient, at being better listeners to your will and your plan for our lives. And we thank you that you did send a leader and that we can look forward to spending eternity with him. So we ask you to be with us, keep us healthy and safe, and keep us in the palm of your hand. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, enjoy the music, enjoy your week, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.
Like good old Joshua and the Battle of Jericho. Joshua the